Okay, so this is what happened. So someone crashed into me a few weeks ago and this just got radiator intercooler, transmission cooler, power steering cooler, and the bumper got messed up. So someone gave me this bumper. I've had it sitting there over a year. So supposedly that's supposed to fit right on this truck, but doesn't look like that's the case. And it needs to work with the snow plow. There's no chance of that working with the plow. Like that's. But it's leaking. Okay, when I picked this up, the uh, brake coolant cap was laying on, on the battery. Every mechanic you deal with is like, is this just loose? make sure this works after somebody chewed the wires. space I have. Really the bumper shouldn't stick out nine inches off this radiator and we'll be okay.
was on here. Alright, so we are at 16 inches. Really you've got to cut it like I guess we'll keep this curve. These half inch bolts just came out of there. That's too small, gonna go with three quarter.
how nice that welder does. The measurements on the truck that's what it came up with measuring how like the thickness of the bumper how long this plate needs to be and the distance from the where the plate mounts to the radiator so based on all that that's that's it by two divided by two that's inch and a quarter yeah. that. an inch and a quarter from that which this is perfect
another nine off the radiator. Which we are a nine and a quarter. Put a little bit of adjustment in. Alright, mate. Way better. I mean, it's a little wide, but it should be like an inch less. Now that the truck is wider again, maybe that looks all right. Let me. Uh, this is this has got to go. That's. I mean, it's not it doesn't have to go. It just needs to move out. filling in some like mountainous stronger Welded in there. I guess I'm gonna cut all the stuff off of that.
That needs to lose a couple inches on the side. That just doesn't look right. the repeat to this side you guys know what I'm gonna do if these are too long finished product so I am happy with that see this is you know that's that's a very solid bumper right there so you, you can really hit stuff with a bumper like this I just want to say like trucks should come like this but they probably shouldn't because 
you could really drive a truck like, like, with a bumper like this, you could really drive through buildings and smash other vehicles without damaging the truck. So, really norm, really a lot of people shouldn't have that ability. So, I see why trucks don't come like this. But, you know, that will prevent damage in a lot of low speed collisions where the, you know, the other bumper was just tinfoil. It was fake nonsense. Um, and you can push stuff with it. If I had had that on when that guy backed into me, it, you know, nothing would have happened. You know, that's how trucks should be. You know, they shouldn't be so delicate. So winch like this. So what you do, you have the receiver. Then you can take your winch. Ah, you know, this guy kind of bent. So it can't go in far enough because it's hitting here because it's bent, but I get another hole back a little further this will work I haven't even tried this yet so that goes on there All right, so that's for five ace these are five ace right here so let's go the edges on this round tip I should end up with a five ace hole Just to show there was different sizes, like three inch. And
pins in there. So that's cool. I'm glad I took care of this now and make sure it actually works. We'll say like, oh, what's your opinion on winches? You know, because you could have, this bumper was set up to have the winch in it all the time. I don't really like that because you're probably not going to be using it that often for it to always be on the front of the truck. Plus weight turns into an issue because it's kind of heavy. And if you like hitting jumps with your truck, like yeah, it kind of messes up the suspension. Having the bumper and the winch and the snow plow on there would just be too much. So having it removable like this is much better. Plus you can put this in different spots. Um, you know, I've chained it to trees. I put it on my trailer. You put it on the back of the truck. When I built this, I made it so you could put another on the back, but you could have another trailer here and winch stuff onto the trailer. Say that maybe it was a trailer that didn't have a winch mount. But I've used this thing a ton. Before I had any heavy equipment and scrap metal was worth a lot of money, like in 2007-ish, I was using this winch and just pulling any scrap metal I could find. And I was going after the hard, crazy stuff, like cars abandoned way in the woods that no one else would attempt to take a tow truck back there and i was going this is what did it was this and this this housing has had multiple different winches on it over the years some did better than others um really the hydraulic equipment is the way to go and like the winch on the skitter and the bulldozer is such a different like this winch works but like the skitter winch is such a different animal i mean it can pull fast the full run of cable it doesn't get hot or tired or care this one's like you know, it's meant for like a short little pull or something. They do sell hydraulic winches in this form factor. If you're going to have one always on the front of the truck, that's probably a more desirable way to do it. But, you know, trucks aren't always set up for hydro. I mean, they kind of are. They can run off the power steering. All right. Well, at least this is all set up. Of squatting a little bit, but I not terrible.
right, the plow seems to work just fine with that bumper, so that's uh, good. I mean, that was the plan, but it was, it's tight on there. Let me see that. I'll just take, I'll just take that one. No damage. Very important to have a good bumper in case a dryer runs out in front of you. All right, this gap right here is a little... I even missed them when I got this truck and I ordered the wrong year. Yeah, look how much longer that is. Metric or American? These are metric. Mm -hmm. it does look like that. Yeah, that's it. You can tell when they sink in like that. But he being a good dog, these guys have been running away like crazy lately. What do you do? You just start running? What's up? Fine adjustments. Looking good.
right, well, I'm gonna kind of end this video on this bumper build project, so that turned out nice. That's a good bumper right there. And you can see after uh, some mild accidents, it didn't even put a mark on it that, you know, spray paint won't take care of, so. Um, I could have even been hitting that car harder, too. I feel like I should uh, keep crashing into this, but maybe I'll make another video on that. I got this to wreck as well, and when I was looking for junk cars, I was reaching out to people. Someone brought me this, telling me it was junk. It came from down south. There is not a drop of rust on this thing. So so I just can't, I just can't ruin like an early 90s pickup truck with no rust. It sucks it's two wheel drive, but I mean, this is like newer than a brand new car. So I'm gonna try to do something a drop more interesting with that. But anyway, before people start blaming me for ruining a perfectly good, good car, I mean, no, look at this thing. This thing, that's carpet. You know, it's just rotted out. This thing was garbage. So, I mean, really Ford should have had to warranty this, you know, cause that's not really acceptable for it to rust like that. But yeah, check that out. There is not a mark on that. I did get a little bit of a scratch right there but that's uh that's nothing